Was it real or just pretend? Tell me why. What's good, YouTube? My name is Solid J. Welcome to my channel. And today, man, today, man, today, man, I got a story time, bro. So today's story time is going to be the worst whooping I ever had, man. So, this is what happened. I was in the third grade. I was in third grade, probably. And... We and like every every time we go to school, I go to daycare. So I'm in daycare, right? They going do good, but then just out of the blue, the kid in the manual, right? Oh, well, everybody was just like hitting their heads on the table, and. For some reason, I, I don't know why my hands was on their head. No homo. Pause. But um, this kid at Emmanuel, he wanted me like to like to smash his head on the table. Okay, so I, I smashed his head on the table, right? And he started bleeding. Now, just me. No one doesn't mean telling that actually. I shouldn't have did that. I don't know what was into me. I don't know why I did it. But I don't I just don't know why I did it. So it was this teacher. I don't I don't remember her name. I'm just saying Miss London. So Miss London, she said, Jamarion. Okay, my name is Jamarion, okay? My nickname is Jay. Alright. Still. She was like Jamarion, you always a bad kid. You always doing this, you always doing that. When your parents come, I'm going to tell them. And they told them. But before that, she put me in the corner. Like, like you know, you bad, like a bad kid. You get put in the corner. So I was in the corner for like 10 minutes. I got out. And I was having fun for the rest of the day. But when all that happened, bro, I just knew it was over. When all that happened, my dad came to the daycare. So now he's at daycare, and one of the teachers told him what happened today, what happened with me. So they told him, and he looked at me with a side eye, he was like, and he basically knew what was up. So. My sister, my sisters, and my brother, they were they were in the car waiting on me. So they didn't hear it until they got home. Cause I didn't tell I didn't tell you to the first place, but A started off, I stole somebody nook. I stole a manual nook. And then B, I smashed his head on the table. He go to a whole different school. I mean, y'all already know what's up, man. But he didn't know, he didn't know I stole the nook until my sister snitched on me. But anyway, so yeah, man, we at home chilling, right? I'm already in trouble, so I'm just standing in the corner. You know, I might get home, I like, stand in the corner. But then, I mean, I was gonna be my only punishment with just standing in the corner. But then, my sister, she came in the room when she came inside the room, in our, in our bedroom, she found my book bag. She looked in it and she pulled out a nook, the device. And she gave it to my dad. And I tell you, bro, he told me to come upstairs, bro. Go, he, well, no homo pause. But he told me to go upstairs, right, to see him in the living room. So I went in the living room. He had a belt. Waiting for me, bro. It's a, 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 he had a belt waiting for me. So, tell me, why would you steal somebody nook? I said, somebody gave it to me. But man, you gave it to me. Well, I didn't say man, I just said somebody. So, he told me to go in my sister's room. 
and you know the drill. Take all your clothes off, you getting the butt whooped. But this time I had to take all my clothes off. You know, I was fully clothed. And I made sure I had an extra pair of shorts under my pants, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But anyway, so I'm sitting there just getting the whoop right. The worst whooping of my life. The belt hits my foot. I'm screaming. I'm like, ah man, I ain't do, I ain't mean to man. Ah. Alright. Then he get, he gets done looking at it. Throws her on the bed and just starts beating me again. Then when he's done, he asks, who's the nook? Who, like, who, who gave you the nook? I was just giving names. I said, Jonathan, Jamar, uh, Quentin. The first day, a long day at daycare. I said, Jamar gave me the nook. Jamar gave me the nook. And then my mom called. Miss um Miss Franco. And I was like the director people. So she called Miss Franco and she said this. Hello? Miss I'm in, I'm Miss I'm my mom and Miss Franco. My mom. Hello? Oh uh, yeah, uh, I have Jamar Ruffin's nook. Miss Franco says. Oh, yes, ma'am. I'll make sure to tell his parents. Hang up. A full three, two, three days go by. And it's not his nook. I mean, I knew it was. I just didn't want to get another whooping. He did. But another day go by. And she asked me, Who gave you the nook? I say, Jonathan. She says, Jonathan, who? Jonathan Goldstein. So she calls the director people. Hello? Yeah, I have them. I have Jonathan's um nook. Jonathan who? Jonathan Goldston? See, okay. I'll tell his parents right now. Hang up. It wasn't his nook. Full day a full three days at daycare go by again. When I finally confess. She says. Who gave you the nook? I quietly say, a male. And when she found out that it was a male who gave me the nook, the person who I just beat his lip wide over to the white, she found out, right? So now, I got a double butt with it, man. A double. Call the director people. Hello? Yeah, I have Emmanuel's nook. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I tell I tell his parents to get it right away. Hang up. Two days go by, my dad finds out that I took Emmanuel's nook. So now it's over for me. It's really over for me. I mean, I can't do nothing else. So, we, we go to the house and he just sits on the couch. When he sit, he's, he's sitting on the couch and he finds out that I took manual nook. And now he says, you know, tomorrow, you know the drill. Go on your sister room and wait for me to get home. It's over for you. That's, that's exactly what he said. So the day go by, and it's the next day. Get back from daycare, and I'm at home. I'm in my sister room. He goes in there. He says, why did you take a manual nook? I say, he gave it to me. He says, but still, you know, that's somebody from another school. You can basically go to jail for it. But yeah, again, I'm, I'm in the third grade. How am I supposed to know that? So anyway, he's in the room, straight beat me up, like beat me, no homo, pause, but beat me wide open to the white meat. I, I can't do nothing else, man. It's, it's really over for me. I couldn't walk for three days, man. He told me to go stand in the corner. 
after he got done beating me up again, I could just barely walk down the steps. Go standing there going. I was like, man, I knew I should never took his look, man. That's it, man. Long story short, man. If you take somebody's stuff and get in trouble for something else, it's over with for you. Cause that's double trouble. You did what I'm saying. Anyway, man, that's gonna do it for today's video, man. My name is Holly J. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Do not forget to turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching. I'll see y'all folks later. You dig? Was it real or just pretend? Tell me why you wanna end. Was it really just a friend?